Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 28. And I like the way it starts. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not? Neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. In other words, you cannot find out and understand God. Yes. Another place shall we ascend up to heaven to bring him down? Can we ascend to heaven to bring God down? Another place? It said the weakness of God is stronger than men. The foolishness of God is wiser than men. In another place it said, it pleased God through the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So we don't understand everything. There is no searching of God's understanding. He's too high above us. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts, uh, Isaiah said. Amen. So what we do is we come before him and say, Lord, we need your understanding. We need your wisdom on the matter. We need your help, Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. That's the way I felt like it. He giveth power to the faint. Uh, not, I didn't think to not want to serve God, but uh, you know, I, I got feeling pretty bad in my body, and I, and, and, and I done something. I think it was last Tuesday night, wasn't it, Robin? Last Tuesday night, we watched a little bit on on the internet about communion, and they were talking about it, and and I was sitting there crying, and and. and just in my spirit, I cried out. And the worst thing about leaving to me is, is my family and my wife and my grandchildren would hurt. And that hurt me so bad, still does. When I leave, you know, it hurts them so bad. They go through the pain and the heartache. It, it, it hurts, don't it, people? We know when you lose your close, dear loved ones, it just tears like a dagger that tears you up. Uh, you know, because we only see the natural here. We don't see that they're in heaven. We don't see with the natural they're in heaven. We believe and know they're with the Lord, but we, you know, we only see that they can't speak to us anymore. That they can't hug us. They can't laugh and smile and talk and have a good time with us anymore. And that hurts. And, and that's what worried me so much because I felt like I, I had something wrong in my body that was more severe than Penny got. I, I did. I, I really did. I, I know how I feel. And that Tuesday night, they started talking about communion, how when we take communion, that the, the blood of Christ is represented by the, the wine or the the grape juice is represented there. And when we take that communion and, and eat the, the bread, it's the body, represents the body of Christ. We drink the wine, it represents the blood of Christ that was shed for our healing. And, and he was telling how that when you take it, you can believe with all your heart that when you drink it, it goes inside of you representing the blood of Christ for healing. And I'm sitting there crying and believing. And I wanted to take communion so bad. And Robin went in there and I, you know, I heard her in there scrambling around and, and doing something. And, and, and she was getting the wine, the, the grape juice and the, and I think the, the little cracker is ready. And we sat there and the man took communion and we did with him. Amen. Because we did it in remembrance of Jesus. And when I did, I, I believed with all my heart at, right then that that 
that grape juice I drank represented the blood of Christ flowing in my body to heal me. To heal me completely and entirely. Amen. But it didn't stop there. Amen. It didn't stop there. It made me want to pray more. Amen. I want to talk to God. And I'm not satisfied even this evening. Uh, we, we cooked and everything. Robin cooked and we all eat it. And we have communion, the family together. And we talked and we had a good time. Amen. But I still ain't had time to pray this evening. And it, not much. I did some in here. But I, it makes me want to get away and talk to him a while. Get by myself and commune with him. That's the difference in us being victorious and defeated. Getting by ourselves and communing with God. The devil don't want it. But I accepted that right that night. Have I had some aches and pains and feel bad? Yes, I have. Amen. But the devil's a liar all the time, isn't he? Amen. I still believe when I done that, I believe it represented the pure blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for my sin and for my healing. And I believe it's still flowing in me. I believe that communion I took is still flowing in me to touch me and make me stronger. Amen. Not stronger to get out there and do what I want to do. To get out there and make a bunch of money. Get out there and, and pursue my goal. But stronger so I can come in here and stay a while, an hour or two praying seeking God, talking to Him, understanding His Word, and drawing closer to Him. Yes. So I can be a blessing. Yes. A real blessing to the people. So I thank God for His mercy. And I'd like to take communion next Sunday night. Let's all plan to get ready. Amen. Let's have communion service. As often as you do it, we do it in remembrance of Jesus. As oft as we do it, as often as we do it, it don't say don't do it often. It don't say do it often. He said as often as we do it, do it in remembrance of Him. In remembrance of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen. So we will plan that next Sunday night. Praise God. If you got any objections, talk to the Lord about it because it's on my mind. And I have to do it. And now let's finish. He gave it power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increased its strength. He's helped me this week. He's helped me this week. Praise God. Amen. Has he helped you this week? Yes. And I know it's for my wife bragging, staying up at night fighting the devil with me. Fighting him. I mean rebuking him all the time. Praying. Talking to God. And she's been given out. Somebody needs to hug her right now and tell her, bless your heart, we love you. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. Those that are not saved, the young shall faint and be weary. And the young men with all their might and strength shall utterly fall. Those that are not depending on God, it don't matter how big a Samson they think they are. It don't matter how they think they look like Charles Atlas or all these big Arnold Schwarzenegger used to be or whatever. Amen. They shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yes. They shall mount up with wings and eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yes. I think in Psalm 27, 40, 14. Wait upon the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strip the night heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And the reason I say this is what I want to talk to you about is help is on the way. Yes. 